everyone, this is Danielle Flanders here, and today I have a little technique I'd like to share with you. Um, I make these little rolled flowers, and I've had several people ask me recently how to do those, so I'd like to show you um, a little bit about my technique. Um, first, you will need um, something to make the flowers with. You can use felt. I have a beautiful array of colors here of felt from Paper Tray Ink. Or you can use any sort of crepe paper or streamers. This is Melissa Francis crepe paper. And I really like the Melissa Francis crepe paper because it's thicker and sturdier and the flowers stay put where you, uh, when you roll them up. So what you can do, um, you can use pinking shears to make little um, pinked edges. Or you can just use regular scissors. And you're just going to cut a strip that's about a half an inch um, wide. It doesn't really matter how long. You can do shorter ones will make smaller flowers and longer ones will make um, a little bit larger flowers. So I just cut a piece of crepe paper here. It doesn't even have to be perfect because when you roll them up you certainly won't see that. And I have my hot glue gun here. This is my favorite tool for making these flowers. So let me get the camera adjusted and I will show you up close how to make these. Okay, here again are the little rolled flowers. There's uh, crepe paper ones here on this card. And this card has um, felt ones, and you can see the blue felt has the pinked edges around it. It just gives it a little bit of different detail to it. All right, so this is how I do it. I take the piece of crepe paper, and I roll it up about three times just to get a good start on it. Put a little dab of glue. And roll it up again. Okay, you're going to keep twisting the same direction, but you're going to, I mean, keep, you're going to keep rolling it in the same direction. However, every once in a while, you're going to twist the ribbon or crepe paper back. And this creates sort of a petal look. So put a little, another dot of glue there. Okay, you're going to continue rolling and twisting the crepe paper back. Another dot of glue. I just like the hot glue because it's quick and easy and it stays put right where you put it. So we're going to continue rolling and, and after you roll it a few times it up, sort of creates the petals itself from um, being twisted. Okay, twist it back again. Wrap the end around and tuck it under. And then if you find that it's too thick and you want it to not to stick up so high from your project, you can flatten it down a little bit with your fingers. And there you have it, a little crepe paper rose. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Thanks for watching.